have to draw him. No, it's Mr. Messerly. Hello and welcome to music class. Uh, this is class number seven. And it is so, so good to see you guys. I have missed you. I hope you had a wonderful week since uh, I saw you last. All right, let's get to it. <clears throat> Hello, how do you do? Hello, I'm glad it's you. Can you sing to me, please? Aw, thank you. That was so sweet. Uh, oh, I know what we should do. Welcome, boys and girls. Welcome, boys and girls. It's so nice to have you here. Welcome, boys and girls. It is so nice to have you for music class. The weather today is gorgeous. It's gorgeous out. It's so sunny and it's warm and I hope you're getting to go outside and play. Um, so, hands together, sitting up tall in our singing position, position two or position three, which is standing tall. One, two, ready, go. What's the weather like today? Sunny. All right, I want you to try it by yourselves. One, two, ready, go. Nice, nice job. Okay, let's move our bodies to um, a song that goes way back, goes way back to your first time ever in Mr. Messer Lee's music class. Let me go, oh, you might be wondering where Lincoln is. Lincoln is mowing the lawn. So, it's all me today. So I have to go start the computer by myself. Jeez. So anyway, we're gonna do groove with me. Stand up. And be ready. Jump, I want to see you jump. When I say spin, I want to see you spin with me. When I say walk, I want to see you walk. When I say run, I want to see you run. When I say march, I want to see you march with me. Get those knees up. There's a hundred ways to move. This is a little freestyle. Nice job, everyone. Very nice job. Make sure to subscribe. That was awesome. 
Uh, you remember that song? For any of you who want um, to know where that came from, it's from the Signing Time show. And uh, those videos are amazing if you want to learn some really cool sign language. American Sign Language. So, Signing Time. <sighs> I'm exhausted. Um, we should take a nap. Okay, I'm done, thanks. Um, all right, let's do what we did last week. We'll start with um, Fiddle Dee Dee, then we'll do My Aunt Came Back, and then we'll learn some new songs. So we're gonna jam pack this music class. Fiddle Dee Dee, okay. Do you remember this one? This is the one where the fly and the bumblebee are in love. They love each other. And that's an awesome thing. Okay. So, if you don't know Fiddle Dee Dee, maybe watch the little video from class number six, because we're just going to jump right in today. Are you ready? Fiddle one, two, three. Oh, wait. I need to get farther enough back so you can see my feet, because we do the blecking step. Uh, the blecking step is... Uh, right here, let's try this. It worked last week. Let's do it again. Or, can you see my feet better? Uh, kinda. So, there you go. My toe is pointing up, my heel's uh, on the ground. My other foot, this one, that one, uh, is just flat on the ground. I just switch which one is pointing up. So now this one is pointing up. It's kind of just a hop. One foot fat, <laughs> one foot flat, and one foot pointing. Fiddle dee dee, fiddle dee dee, the fly has married the bumblebee. The fly said he will you marry me and live with me, sweet bumblebee. Fiddle dee dee, fiddle dee dee, the fly has married the bumblebee. So, I would like to do that where I'm not standing on a little bench. Also, I want to do what we did last week, which is we're going to do this song three times. The first time we sing and do the motions, the second time we just do the motions and we think the words, sing them inside our head, or even mouth the words silently, and then we'll do it a third time. Okay. Don't forget your legs. Blecking step. One, two, should find the right note. Fit. One, two, ready, go. Fiddle dee dee, fiddle dee dee, the fly has married the bumblebee. The fly said he will you marry me and live with me, sweet bumblebee. Fiddle dee dee, fiddle dee dee, the fly has married the bumblebee. Third time, fiddle dee dee, fiddle dee dee, the fly has married the bumblebee. The fly said he will you marry me and live with me, sweet bumblebee. Fiddle dee dee, fiddle dee dee, the fly has married the bumblebee. Bravo, 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 and now, you know, you get to have lots of flies and bumblebees at your family reunions. They'll probably particularly enjoy the picnics. Okay, <clears throat> my aunt came back. This is kind of a big kid song, so if some of this uh, stuff that I'm about to do with the hand signals, which is just a review of what we did in the last class, it might be a little hard. I made many mistakes last week. So la, so me. So la, so me. Can you do that? I'm going to sing it. You're going to echo back. So la, so me. Okay, cool. Now we're going to do the next one. So la, so re. So la, so re. So la, so me. So that's the basically the whole song, right? Um, I feel like I rushed through that a little bit. Let's do it one more time. 
You can sing with me and do the echo. You can sing with me and not do the echo or just do the echo. I don't care. Just get in here and get those hands moving and have them rise up for so and down for me and Ray. So la so me. So la so re. So la so re. So so la so me. I obviously that's just too hard for me. My aunt came back from Timbuktu. She brought with her a wooden shoe. Your job is to echo. I sing, you sing. So it'd be like this. Without Lincoln here, we don't have it, but you can do it. My aunt came back from Timbuktu. She brought with her a wooden shoe. Excellent. All right, so before we get up and do the whole thing, um, did anybody find any of these places on the map? I don't really have a map here and it would be kind of hard to see. So I'm just gonna give you some clues and I would really like you to see if you can find them. So Timbuktu is a real place. And when we, when I was a little kid, uh, if their parents got mad at us or something, they would say, oh, we're gonna send you off to Timbuktu because it seemed so far away. I didn't even realize it was a, a real place. So it's in Northern Africa. So look up there. Also Algiers, which goes with a pair of shears. That is also uh, in Northern Africa. Guadeloupe is in the Caribbean islands. It's a tiny little island. You're going to have to look really close for it. And Japan, of course, is Japan. It's, it's a pretty sizable island, way bigger than the other three. Let's see what else was there. The paper fan. You've probably seen them, and you can make your own paper fan. Ooh. Well, we should have done that. Maybe, maybe some other time, but paper fan. Uh, easy peasy. Pair of shears. Shears are scissors. A lot of times, if you look up the definition of shears, it's the special kind of scissors they use to maybe cut, uh, to give sheep haircuts, things like that. You know what a hula hoop is, and a wooden shoe, like, um, well, I don't know. Just a shoe made out of wood. So you ready for this thing? Got this? Okay, you have to do all the motions. As once you start doing a motion, you have to keep doing the motion till the end. Okay, here we go. Scoot the bench forward. Are you ready? So echo me. My aunt came back from Timbuktu. She brought with her a wooden shoe. My aunt came back from old Japan. She brought with her a paper fan. My aunt came back from old Algiers. She brought with her a pair of shears. My aunt came back from Guadeloupe. She brought with her a hula hoop. Did you do it? How did it go? Did you fall over? Um, I don't know if you could hear way in the background, Miss Holly was singing your part. So thank you, Miss Holly. Um, I love that song. It's so much fun. Okay, new time for new songs. The first song we're going to learn today is called Higgledy Piggledy Pop. Higgledy Piggledy Pop. Higgledy Piggledy Pop. I'm not really sure that Higgledy and Piggledy are real words. They're probably more along the lines of nonsense words. So you don't need to worry about it. Let's hear the song. This is a song that's words and rhythm, so we're not going to have a melody. Any, We won't have any solfege. Higgledy piggledy pop. The dog is eating the mop. The pig's in a hurry. The cat's in a flurry. Higgledy piggledy pop. Ta-da! Yes! Best story ever. Maybe best song ever. Okay, so I don't know if you noticed, but the first phrase and the last phrase were the same thing. Higgledy piggledy pop. So I'm going to say higgledy piggledy pop and then I need you to say it back to me. Are you ready? Me than you. Higgledy piggledy pop. One more time. Higgledy piggledy pop. 
you really have to move your mouth a lot to get higgledy and piggledy out of the out of, out of your mouth. It's just without it being all blah 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 blah. You can do it though. Move your mouth, say those words super clear. Now, when I point to you, I need you to say higgledy piggledy pop, and then I'm gonna talk about the dog eating the mop and the cat and stuff. Okay, so then then we'll switch. When I point to you, you say higgledy piggledy pop. Cool, cool. Okay, one, two, ready. The dog is eating the mop. The pig's in a hurry. The cat's in a flurry. Cool. Did you get that? How you guys say it at the beginning and the end? Okay. So the middle part. The dog is eating the mop. The dog is eating the mop. It's a silly song. We're just needing to accept that and move on. Okay. So me, the new. The dog is eating the mop. Okay. The pig's in a hurry. The pig's in a hurry. The cat's in a flurry. The pig's in a hurry. The cat's in a flurry. That's kind of silly, isn't it? The pig's in a hurry. The cat's in a flurry. I'm going to do it. You're going to do it. Cool. The pig's in a hurry. The cat's in a flurry. You guys have such a good groove going on. Okay, so let's add... The dog is eating the mop with the pig's in a hurry, the cat's in a flurry. Here we go. I'm going to say um, both those things, and then you're going to say them back to me. One, two, ready. The dog is eating the mop. The pig's in a hurry, the cat's in a flurry. You ready? Go. The dog is eating the mop. The pig's in a hurry, the cat's in a flurry. Okay. I don't really expect you to have that 100% memorized or perfect yet, but we're going to do it a bunch, so you'll get better at it. No worries. Now we're going to add the higgledy-piggledy pop at the beginning and at the end. The whole thing should go like this. One, two, ready, go. Higgledy-piggledy pop. The dog is eating the mop. The pig's in a hurry. The cat's in a flurry. Higgledy-piggledy pop. Cool. One, two, try again. Higgledy-piggledy pop. The dog is eating the mop. The cat's in a hurry. The pig's in a flurry. <laughs> Sorry, I lost it. I knew I'd reverse those eventually. Let's try it again. It works. I just needed to not crack up. One, two, ready, go. Higgledy, piggledy, pop. The dog is eating the mop. The pig's in a hurry. The cat's in a flurry. Higgledy, piggledy, pop. <laughs> nice. But is that all? No. I mean, it could be. But it's not. We have um, a repeated phrase that we are going to say over and over again. And in this case, it's going to be this. Please, please stop eating the mop. 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 I need you to say, please stop eating the mop over and over again while I say higgledy piggledy pop. Miss Holly? Yes. I know that uh, you, I said I wasn't going to ask you, but could you come in here and do this for me, please? Okay. Thanks for... Miss Holly is going to do this. All I need from you, Miss Holly, is to just say, please stop eating the mop. Please stop while I sing higgledy piggledy pop. Is that cool? One, two, ready, go. Please stop eating the mop. Please stop eating the mop. Higgledy piggledy pop. The goat is eating the mop. The pig's in a hurry. The cat's in a flurry. Higgledy piggledy pop. <laughs> Yay! Thank you, Miss Holly. Um, so, <laughs> what I would like us to do now is to turn please stop and eating the mop into motions. So, let's do clap for please stop. Please stop, and then on our knees, eating the mop. Please stop eating the mop. Please stop eating the mop. Please stop eating the mop. Please stop. Cool? Okay. Um, now, ideally, uh, we would, I would like you to turn those into instruments. But I know a lot of you don't have instruments at home. So, let's do... It where you say, please stop eating the mop. You'll do it twice, and then I will start saying higgledy piggledy pop. It's super important. I need you to keep going. So it's going to be like this. 
please stop eating the mop. Please stop eating the mop. And then I'm going to start saying higgledy piggledy pop. You have to keep saying, please stop eating the mop. Now, what can you possibly do to turn it into infinites? Well, I thought that, yes, oh, we've got our, our pencil drumsticks. Yes, can you set those right down there? Thanks. Um, so, this is, we used this before. This is just a uh, Tupperware. Some, I don't know, something we got at Kroger. And I put some rice in it. It can be used as a drum. But also, we got this plastic bowl that we sometimes like put Halloween candy and stuff in. It makes a really good drum. Notice sometimes that you can get a different sound if you use this part of your hand, the palm. Or the tips of your fingers. You got side and... So, what I was thinking was that we could... Um, Let's try, please stop eating them, please stop eating them. Um, also, pencils, please stop eating them up, please stop eating them up. Or, um, please stop eating them, please stop eating them. I don't care what you go for, but, um, and if you have a drum, sweet. Please stop eating them. Please stop eating them. I guess what I want you to do is see if you can find something that you can bang on, like a plastic bowl, some Tupperware with rice or beans in it, and pencils. Maybe you've got some sticks, like out in the yard, that are like are not splittery. Eating them. Okay, so whatever you choose to do, whether it's instruments, or clapping and patting. Please stop eating them up. We are now gonna go for it. Two times introduction where you do please stop eating them up. And then I will come in with higgledy piggledy pop. Here we go. One, two, you start. Please stop eating them up. Please stop eating them up. Higgledy piggledy pop. The dog is eating them up. The pig's in a hurry, the cat's in a flurry. Higgledy, piggledy, pop. Whew! All right, so we'll do that next week. Practice. Maybe see if you can invent some instruments of your own. If you have um, plastic cups, you can sometimes put stuff over the top of the cup and wrap it with a rubber band. Um, I don't know. If you have any other really good ideas for how to make instruments with stuff laying around the house, maybe send me the idea on Schoology. So... Um, I want to do one more thing before we end for today as, oh, it's in this book. It's in this book. It, the song is called, We're Off to the Zoo. It goes like this. We're off to the zoo, we hope you see a kangaroo, we're off to the zoo, and you can come too. I always have trouble with that ending part. We're off to the zoo, we hope you see a kangaroo, we're off to the zoo, and you can come too. Can you sing that with me? We're off to the zoo. We hope you see a kangaroo. We're off to the zoo. And you can come to... Ah, talk about me, not bad. I want to do it again. One, two, three. We're off to the zoo. And we hope you see a kangaroo. We're off to the zoo. And you can come to... So I, I bet you're, you're singing along with that pretty well by now. So here's the thing that I think makes the song interesting. We're going to add four animals at the end to make a B section. It'll go like this. Next week, maybe, again, if you want different animals than the ones I chose, maybe you could, again, send me a message on Schoology uh, and let me know what animals you want to do. So here are the animals. Tiger, elephant, alligator, bear. Tiger, elephant, alligator, bear. Cool? Okay, so, 
The whole thing would go like this. We're off to the zoo. We hope you see a kangaroo. We're off to the zoo. And you can come to tiger, elephant, alligator, bear. Tiger, elephant, alligator, bear. We're off to the zoo. We hope you see a kangaroo. We're off to the zoo. And you can come to tiger, elephant, alligator, bear. Tiger, elephant, alligator, bear. So this is our, um, you haven't learned this yet in kindergarten, but this is uh, our, what we do when we're performing silence, what we do for a rest. It's kind of like where the sound go. So, here is the thing. Each one of those animals can be represented by rhythm notes. For instance, this. Um, we would call these do, do. They're quarter notes and they make one sound for one beat. Do, 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 do. Now this is do day do do day do. Let's see if I can kind of way to do this better. Okay. Do day do do day do do day do do day do. Two eighth notes and one quarter note. Here's the next one. Do day do day. So two pairs of eighth notes or four eighth notes. One two three four. Do day, do day, do day, do day. Can you do it with me? Do day, do day. That's our next one. All right, and then this one. Do. So this squiggle line uh, is this cool symbol you, you, you see when you're reading music that tells you to perform silence. Silence is just as important to music. Okay, so here's the thing. Each one of those rhythms is going to match up to one of the animals. Tiger, elephant, alligator, bear. I'm going to mix them up, and you're going to guess what animal goes with what rhythm. Okay, are you ready? Do, day, do. Can you clap it with me? Do, day, do. Do, day, do. Okay, are you ready? Which of the four animals, tiger, elephant, alligator, bear, does this one go with? All right, I'm gonna give you five seconds and then I'm gonna show you the answer. Five, four, three, two, one. Da, 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 da. Elephant, elephant. So if you have two beats, ah. two sounds on the first one, elephant. One sound on the second beat, elephant, 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 elephant. Elephant, do day do. Okay, let's do the next one. Uh, oh, this one should be pretty easy. Do rest, do rest, do rest. Okay, tiger, elephant, alligator, bear. Mm -hmm. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. It's a bear, bear, Rawr. It's a bear, bear, bear. So that one will be performed. Do, 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 do. Bear, bear. Okay, two more to go. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, so there's two quarter notes, one sound for every beat. Do, do. What do you think it is? Tiger, elephant, alligator, bear. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Tiger! Tiger. Tiger. And then the last one, through process of elimination or your brilliance, you'll be able to figure out real quick. Do day, do day. Do day, do day. Do day, do day. Cool. All right, so you ready? Is it tiger, elephant, Alligator bear. I'll give you three seconds. Three, two, one. Alligator. 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 Do day, do day. 
do day do day alligator do day do day alligator cool i just thought of this to get a little rhythm work in there so how about we bring that song back next week and we will turn those rhythms into instruments as well and next week we'll um definitely do higgledy piggledy pop with some instruments as well i mean i kind of showed you what i want you to do see if you can find instruments that will allow you to do please stop beating them up um if you if it's just, if it's just by yourself find an instrument maybe like this one where i can do both and then we'll come up with different instruments for the different rhythms tiger elephant alligator bear Tiger, elephant, alligator, bear. Let's finish it up with one more time through that song, and then we are out of here. It's too beautiful of a day to stay in. We're off to the zoo. We hope you see a kangaroo. We're off to the zoo, and you can come too. Tiger, elephant, alligator, bear. Tiger, elephant, alligator, bear. Boom. Yes. Oh, I love you guys so much. You're the best music students a music teacher could ever, 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 ever uh, be lucky enough to get to teach and make music with. So thank you so much for uh, making music with me. Enjoy your week, um, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.